my lovelies. Welcome to a gloomy, rainy day yoga class. My name is Natasha, also known as Nurse Natasha on every platform. Um, yeah, it's a very gloomy day here in Las Vegas, which I know is strange. We've gone from almost 120 degrees to suddenly it's raining. That's monsoon season in the desert. Um, but I just felt called to do a little gloomy day, rainy day yoga class for you guys. And this is for you know, when it's gloomy outside, it's raining, or you're just not feeling too hot and you just want to kind of stay in bed and get your yoga on. So this class, I will be filming from my bed. You can do this in your bed or you can do it from a yoga mat, wherever you feel comfortable. Um, but yeah, this is for that day where you just want to stay in bed and binge watch your favorite show and eat your comfort foods. Um, and I really encourage you to come to this class as you are. So I'm, this is my bed head kind of just brushed out. I'm wearing a really comfy romper, you know, no bra club. Um, I just want you to come comfortable as you are, cozy, maybe put on your favorite hoodie, have a blanket with you. We're gonna use that um, in Savasana at the end of class. Um, you know, just come as you are. And that's, I mean, pretty much the theme for all of my classes, right? But I just really want you to encourage you to get cozy today and honor your needs. So that's what this class is going to be about. Um, our affirmation for class is going to be like, I'm going to honor my needs. So I want you to think, what do you need today? Whether it's a gloomy day or not, whether whatever the case, I just want you to think, what do I need? What would feel best for me, for my mind, my body, my soul, all of that. Um, yeah, as far as, um, if you haven't done one of my classes before, I teach my classes for all bodies and make them as accessible as possible. So I encourage you to have any props that you might need for you. Um, we won't, I won't be queuing anything with blocks or straps or anything, but if you need maybe a strap, you can use a towel or a blanket. Um, if you need some kind of prop or bolster or anything that you need for your body, I want you to have it nearby. Um, and just remember that everything I say is an option, not an order. So I want you to listen to your body. That is so important. The more you listen to your body, the more you honor your body, your needs, your mind, your soul, that is trusting your intuition. And it's going to flex that intuition muscle. And you're just going to get really in tune. You're going to reconnect the mind and body. And it's just going to feel great. So that's what we're going to focus on. And we're just going to relax. I also have... I don't know if you can see him. My handy dandy assistant, Fozzie Bear. He is here with me. We'll see if he can stay calm through this whole yoga class. Usually I'm gonna lay down and he's gonna be like, oh my gosh, mom. So bring your furry friends with you or your scaly friends or whatever kind of friends, your kids, you know, whatever. Um, and yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. So again, very gentle class. We're just gonna take it easy. So we're gonna get started on our backs. So if you wanna go ahead and find your way to your back. Hello, Fozzie Bear. I know he looks like a stuffed animal, but I promise he's a real boy. <laughs> he's a real dog. Thank you for the kisses. All right, so we're gonna get started in Supta Baddha Konasana, so reclined bound angle pose. Um, this is a hip opener. We're just gonna get into our hips a little bit. So I want you to bring your feet bottoms together to touch, opening up at the knees. And now here, if you'd like, you can maybe put some pillows under your thighs or under your knees just to give yourself extra support if this feels like too much on your hips or your knee joint. And we're just going to take up space here, get comfortable, feel yourself kind of sink into that bed or your mat, wherever you are. I'm going to place my hands on my stomach. But you can also have your hands uh, on either side of you. You can place your palms down if you'd like to get grounded or palms facing up if you'd like to just take in some energy. And you can close your eyes here if that feels good. And I just want you to start to bring your awareness to your breath. Just noticing it as it goes in and out through your nose, not changing anything about it just yet. Maybe if you wanna give your furry friend some love here. And we can use our breath to bring us to this moment, to right now, to the present. I encourage you to use visualization here. This is what helps me is if you literally picture your nose in your mind, I know it sounds silly, but picture your nose in your mind and watch the breath go in and out through your nostrils. And as we start to deepen these inhales and exhales, we start to take inventory here. We check in with the mind, the body, the soul. We notice any constraints, tensions, blockages, anything that's coming up. And again, this can be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. 
And I want you to get curious here. I want you to ask yourself, why do I feel this way? We don't practice judgment. We don't practice attachment. You know, there's no guilt or shame associated with anything that you're feeling because we are human. And I want you to ask yourself, in relation to maybe anything that's coming up, again, any blockages, constraints, tensions, what do I need? What do I need to let that go? What do I need to work on that? What do I need to practice self-compassion or self-love or self-care? And just think about that as you breathe here. What do I need? And once you maybe figured out something that you need today, I want you to say to yourself, I will honor my needs. I will honor my needs. And we'll seal this with a breath. So take a big inhale in through the nose, fill up the chest, fill up the belly, take up space. And open mouth, exhale, release. One more big inhale in through the nose, felt the chest, felt the belly. And open mouth, exhale. Release. Start to invite some movement into your body. So maybe you want to wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers. Gently, you can close the knees. And then I want you to extend your legs long on the mat and you can, your, on your bed, you can extend your arms out overhead as well. Just take a nice big morning stretch here like we just woke up this morning. Extend the hands, the feet. Again, maybe wiggle the toes or finger, fingers or roll out the wrists, or roll out the ankles. Just take up space. And then go ahead and relax here. You can bring again your hands to either side of you. And now again, we're going to continue to get into the hips here. So leaving the left leg long, I want you to draw this right knee into your chest. Now you have a few options here. Option one is to just bend into the knee, placing the feet bottom, the foot bottom on the mat. Just bending into the knee here. Another option is to draw that knee into your chest. So you can wrap either your hands around your shin, or you can use a blanket or a strap here to pull that leg into you. Just giving it a little squeeze here. Pulling that knee in. And now your third option, you can either stay here or if you'd like to take a half happy baby, you're gonna reach for the foot on that right leg and you're gonna pull that foot, pulling the knee down towards the bed or towards the mat, creating kind of a 90 degree angle here. And this is a half happy baby. And again, these are just options. So if this doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can stay at any point that feels good for you and your body. And we're just gonna breathe here, breathing into this right hip. Listening to the calming sounds of my dog licking his paws. And go ahead and inhale here and exhale. You can gently release that right leg down and I will switch legs. So right leg extends, drawing that left knee in. So again, option one is just bending into the knee and placing the foot bottom on the bed or on the mat and just hanging out here. Or again, option is reaching for that leg and pulling it down into you. And again, you can use a strap or a blanket or a towel here. And then option number three, if you'd like to take that half heavy baby, just reaching again for that foot. Pulling the knee down towards the mat or towards the bed. Getting into that left hip. And just breathing here. And go ahead and release whenever you're ready. Extending both legs long. Now we're going to take some twists here. So going back to the right side, I want you to draw that right knee again into your chest. And from here, we're gonna inhale here and exhale. You're just gonna draw that right knee over to the left. So taking a nice big twist here. You can bring your arms to a T position if that feels good. Maybe gaze over that right shoulder. And now we're feeling this in the outer right hip and the low back. 
And we're just gonna breathe here. Again, we're gonna ask ourselves, what do I need? What does my body need today? What does my soul need? What does my mind need? What do my emotions need? Inhale, draw everything back to center. Extend that right leg out. And now we're gonna switch sides. So we're drawing that left knee in now, taking an inhale here and exhale. Draw that left knee over to the right. Taking that supine twist here. Again, you can bring your arms out to a T position. Maybe gazing over that left shoulder. And breathing into that outer hip and that low back. And again, reminding yourself to honor your needs today. Whatever they may be, whatever you need to feel good in your mind, your body, your soul. And go ahead and inhale, draw everything back to center and exhale, you can release. Now we're gonna find our way to a fetal pose, so just bending into the knees. You can bring the feet bottoms to the mat or pull the knees into the chest. And then we're just gonna drop over to one side. You're gonna use that bottom arm as a pillow. And we're just gonna hang out in this fetal pose for a moment. Just breathing here, taking our time. Just appreciating softness and stillness and coziness on these gloomy days. Just taking a moment to take it slow. And then when you're ready, nice and slow, just pressing yourself up to a seat, taking your time. And we're gonna come to an easy seated pose. So whatever that means for you, so for me, it's just this gentle cross-legged pose, but find what works best for you and your body. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, <laughs> this is kind of a little funky thing that I learned, um, you know, in my years of yoga teacher training. We're gonna rock our legs like a baby. Now, I know that sounds silly, but this is really gonna help us get into our hip joint. So we're gonna start with the right leg. So you're just gonna gently lift your right leg up. Now you can hold it out here if this is comfortable for you, or if you can get that knee into that kind of the crook of your elbow, this foot into the crook of the elbow of the other arm, and you're just gonna rock that leg like a baby. I know it sounds silly, but have fun with it, you know, feel silly, tap into that inner child. And you're just gonna kind of rock that leg back and forth. Now you should feel this in the right hip. We're just kind of loosening up that hip joint a little bit. And these movements can be big or small. I'm just taking this moment to rock your leg, baby. And then we'll go ahead and switch sides. So we're gonna come to the other side. And again, you can hold your leg like this and kind of rock it from side to side, or if you can get that foot into the crook of your elbow and kind of hold your leg like a baby and just rock it out here. Just gentle warming up of that hip joint. And again, tapping into that inner child. Have some fun. Feel silly. All right, go ahead and release. So now that our hip joint's a little bit more warm, a little bit more open, we're gonna take a wide-legged fold here. So I want you to bring your legs out. And this doesn't have to be super wide. It can just be what feels comfortable for you and your body. So finding this wide-legged stance, we're gonna inhale for a flat spine. And exhale, you're just gonna gently fold. Now you can rest on a pillow here, rest on a blanket. I don't care how deeply you can fold, what matters is that you feel it and you feel good. You know, there's no pain, you feel that gentle stretch. You should feel this in your hamstrings, in your groin and the low back. And maybe you inhale lengthen and exhale, fold a little deeper. And just breathing gently here. Again, maybe inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. And 
and go ahead and inhale gently come on up now we're going to take some figure four stretches here so we'll start with the right leg so you're going to bend the left knee the left foot is coming to the inside of that right leg now i'm going to center myself over my right leg i'm going to inhale to lengthen and exhale i'm going to fold and again remembering that it doesn't matter how deeply you can fold it doesn't matter if you can touch your toes i just want you to feel good i want you to feel that release in your low back and your hamstring in your hips. And again, maybe you inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold a little bit more. Inhale, gently come on up. And now we're gonna take a side stretch here. So what I want you to do is kind of bring this right arm in front of the right leg. You're trying to get that shoulder in front of the right leg and it's okay if you can't bring it all the way. And then we're gonna inhale our left arm up and over. And you're gonna take a side stretch your leg. You're trying to reach that left hand for that right foot. You're gonna keep that chest open to the ceiling. And we're gonna breathe here. Again, try to keep that chest open. And then I want you to inhale through center and exhale, drop the left hand and then lift the right arm up. So now we're taking it to the opposite side, keeping again that chest open to the ceiling. You should feel this in that right hip. And then inhale, come to center. Now we'll take it to the other side. So I'm extending my left leg out, right knee bends. Right foot's coming to that inner left thigh. I'm gonna square myself over my left leg. I'm gonna inhale to lengthen and exhale. I'm just gonna fold. And just breathing here. Maybe inhaling to lengthen and exhale, folding a little deeper. And go ahead and inhale, come on up. Now we're gonna take that side stretch. So again, you're just kind of trying to bring that right arm in front of the left leg. And they're gonna inhale, I mean the left arm in front of the left leg. Inhale that right arm up and open. Like you're trying to reach that right hand to that left foot. And you're keeping your chest open to the ceiling here. And we're breathing. And go ahead and inhale, come through center, exhale, dropping the right hand now. And inhaling that left arm up and over, just taking it to the other side, a little counter stretch again, keeping that chest open to the ceiling. And then go ahead and inhale, come to center, and gently release. So again, find whatever seated pose feels good for you. Maybe you like that wide-legged extended legs, maybe you like the cross-legged, or maybe you want to just extend your legs out in front of you, whatever feels good. We're gonna get into the upper body a little bit here. So I'm gonna go ahead. This feels good for me, so this is where I'm gonna be. And we're gonna inhale our arms open, and exhale, I want your right arm to go over the left, and you're gonna give yourself a little hug here. So I want you to be very gentle with yourself, I want you to give yourself a little Give a little massage, some safe self-touch, show yourself some love. And then maybe if you want to, you can drop your chin to your chest and kind of round forward, pulling on the shoulders very gently. And just breathing here, feeling this coziness, this warmth, and giving yourself a hug. And then inhale, open the arms up again. And exhale, this time left arm comes over right. And we give ourselves a little hug here, reaching for those shoulders, maybe giving yourself a little massage. And then maybe dropping chin to chest and kind of rounding forward, opening up the back of the heart. And just feeling this coziness, this warmth, this self-love. And inhale, open up, and exhale, you can release. Now I'll take this to some seated cat cow, so I'm gonna bring my hands to my knees. 
and we're gonna open up the chest a little bit more. So I want you to inhale, draw the shoulder blades back behind you, open up the chest, lifting the chin, dropping the head back. Exhale, round the shoulders, drop chin to chest, round the spine. Inhale to open up. And exhale, round. Do about five more of these on your own breath. Link your breath to your movement. And do what feels good here. Find some flow. Maybe you want to take some chest circles. Just make sure you take them in both directions, even out the sides. Now this is what all the, this is what gloomy days, lazy days, rainy days are about, is just being cozy and comfy and doing what feels good and comfort food and comfort shows and comfort yoga, you know. I'm all about that life. Actually, the sun's coming out a little bit now. It's supposed to be gloomy all day today, all week this week. Let me go ahead and finish up this last one and come back to a neutral spine. Now, if your legs are crossed, you can go ahead and switch that cross just so we get even here in the legs. And I want you to drop your hands behind you. So you're tempting those hands behind you. And you're just going to inhale, open up, pressing that chest forward and dropping the head back. It's really opening the heart here. You can kind of bend into those elbows and then maybe straighten them. Just give me a little heart opener here. A little throat opener as well, getting into that throat chakra and the heart chakra. And then go ahead and just gently release. All right, we're gonna extend those legs out in front of us. And we're just gonna take a forward fold here. Now I want you to remember, honor your body, make space for your body. I'm gonna kind of turn to the side here so you can see me. So I'm gonna open my feet just a little bit wider than usual, just to make room for my thighs, make room for my belly, make room for my chest. I'm gonna honor my body by doing this. So find a stance that works best for you. Inhale to lengthen and exhale, just fold over the legs. Now again, it doesn't matter if you can touch your toes. And you have two options here. Option one, if you want to get more into the low back, you can bend the knees and fold deeper and you'll feel this more in the low back. Or option two, if you want it more in the hamstrings, I want you to straighten those legs and then reach. So make this pose and make all your poses work for you. They call it yoga practice, not yoga perfect. And you should be doing what feels best for you and your body and what you need in the moment, because it changes. That's the magic of mindfulness, is you're mindful in the moment. What do I need today? What do I need in this moment? And that changes on the day to day. And go ahead and inhale, gently come on up. All right, my lovelies, we are gonna transition to coming down to our bellies. So take your time here, moving gently. We're gonna come to a wide-legged child's pose. So you're gonna widen your knees. You're going to sink those hips down to your heels and you're just going to lower all the way down to your bed or to your mat and maybe keep yourself on your chin here because if you go down to your forehead you might be hard to breathe in the blankets a little bit you know and i want you to rest here in this child's pose i want you to bring it back to your breath and i want you to bring it back to our affirmation of i will honor my needs we're gonna breathe here for a little bit. And then gently, I want you to just slide forward all the way down to your belly. So you're extending the legs out, you're coming to your belly. Now we're gonna take half frog here just to get into the hips, a little back a little bit. So you can bring your forearms to cross in front of you. You can either rest your chin or your forehead on those forearms. And you, starting with the right side, I'm gonna demo on the left so you can see me. You're just gonna bend into that knee, bringing it out to the side and resting here. The right leg, the left leg stays straight, right knee bends. It's coming directly out from that hip joint and your foot is coming directly out from your knee. 
And we're just going to gently get into those hips, the low back. I just want you to relax here again. Tap into this cozy, gentle, gloomy day energy. Breathing deeply. And gently go ahead and release that right leg, taking it to the other side. So now bending into the left knee, it's coming directly out from that hip and your foot's coming directly out from that knee. And we're just gonna rest and breathe here. guys can see Fozzie but they look so cute. Put down his pillows, looks like a little stuffed animal. We all need to just embody Fozzie when we're having one of these days. We just sleep and we honor our needs, living the best life. And go ahead and release that leg back down. And now what I want you to do is just kind of rock your hips from side to side here. Both legs extended. And then I want you to bend into your knees. And we're going to drop the knees from, or drop the legs from one side to the other. So like windshield wipering out the legs here. This again is getting us some mobility in the low back, in the hips, and the knees. I love doing this. I don't know why. It just feels so good. And then you can go ahead and release. And now from our bellies, we're just going to flip on over to our backs. Taking your time here. Nice and slow. Coming to your back on your bed or on your mat. And what I want you to do here is again, we're going to take that morning stretch. So inhaling those arms up. Legs extend, and we just take up a bunch of space here, stretching it out. Get wiggling the toes, wiggling the fingers. And then with your arms extended overhead, we're gonna take some crescent stretches here. So maybe you scoot your hips over to the right just a bit, and then your arms and legs are gonna come over to the left. So you're creating this like crescent moon or a banana shape on your back and maybe if you'd like you can cross your right ankle over the left if you want a little bit of an extra stretch here and i want you to feel that expansion from right hip to right rib cage breathing into that space we're creating nice deep breaths here Inhale here, exhale, go ahead and come back to center. Now we'll take it to the other side. So maybe scooching your hips over to the left just a bit now. And then arms and legs coming over to the right. And again, we'll be crossing left ankle over right if you want a little extra. And just breathing into that space, feeling the expansion from left hip to left rib cage. take an inhale and exhale go ahead and release all right my lovelies we've come to the end of this journey here so I want you to take any final pose that would feel good for you right now so we're gonna take a moment to practice our affirmation of I'm going to honor my needs so I want you to ask yourself what do I need right now I'm gonna take a full happy baby we warmed up at the beginning of class with some half happy baby I'm gonna take a full happy baby, but maybe you're like, I want an inversion, I wanna put my legs up the wall, shoulder stand, I want another child's pose, I want some twists. I want you to really tap into this mind-body connection and be like, what do I need? So if you're like me and you wanna get more into the hips and the low back and take a happy baby, you have options here. You're gonna draw your knees wide into your chest. You can grab backs of thighs, you can grab your shins, or you can grab for your feet. And just pull those legs down. You can rock from side to side here. 
So you can straighten one leg and straighten the other. And again, maybe you're like, I want a shoulder stand or I want a plow pose or legs up the wall, whatever it is. Take your time. Just breathe. And again, take a moment to just ask yourself, what do I need? What do I need today? And gently when you're ready, we're gonna find our Savasana. So if you have a blanket nearby, I want you to pull that blanket on over to you. And I want you to just get cozy underneath that blanket. And I will leave you in your Savasana today. So we're gonna get cozy underneath our blanket. We're gonna basically like tuck ourselves in, giving us that cozy, comfortable energy. This blanket was knitted by my grandma a long time ago. I love it. it. Makes me feel just super warm and cozy. And taking up space on your mat, you can kind of let your arms and legs fall wherever they want to fall and just get comfortable here. This is a great class to do before nap time. I know I'm ready for a nap. And again, I just want you to ask yourself, what do I need? What do I need today? What do I need after this class? What would make me feel good? And again, this is where I will leave you. So you can stay in this Savasana for as long as you like. If it turns into a nap, awesome. Thank you so much for doing my class. I will see you guys for the full moon in Aquarius this week. Um, on a last note, I just want you guys to know that I did mark down all the prices on my courses just to make them more accessible for everyone. I've been thinking about getting a course. They are all lower in price. Um, the link is in the description box. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know how this class made you feel. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. And just remember to do what you need.